Um, welcome to the experiment section, and let's start um, out with this. Whether this was just an attempt to wake you up after lunch or actually uh, the perfect illustration of the fear marketing professionals like us feel when we are asked to experiment, I hope these screams at least got your attention for it is probably one of the most difficult challenges we are facing in today's new media and marketing landscape and that is the necessity to put innovation and hence experimentation at the heart of our marketing strategy and department. The good news is, is that since we last met here at Virgin London, that digital marketing in the UK has certainly grown in stature, moving from being merely an experiment to quite, for quite a few advertisers to actually starting to be a vital part of the communication mix. So the marketing confidence gap, the gap that uh, Mike mentioned, and that gap between new media consumer usage and new media advertising budgets has certainly narrowed but only for a few channels and not merely enough, as I'm sure you agree. Moreover, with new channels constantly emerging, being massively adopted by consumers instantaneously, just consider the 400% growth of social network usage here in the UK in the last year, the gap has far, far from disappeared. It increasingly will if we get more confident, and that will happen if we know more. As William Blake said a long time ago, the true method of knowledge is experiment. We simply need to experiment if we want to find new ways to reach and engage our target audiences. And what's great is that we've already found a perk of experimentation. Putting our brand in new places and doing things not often seen before might not always assure business success, but nearly guarantees consumer attention today, and that's worth quite a lot in the attention economy. So experiment not an easy task. Although strategic innovation is certainly recognized by executives as increasingly crucial across the board in a knowledge society where even small insights can shift the competitive landscape. And while a recent Sapien study showed that innovation is now a top criteria for marketing directors when hiring an agency, the issue is, is that the tried and tested way of working of the traditional advertising model hasn't prepared us to integrate experiments in how we work and what we do every day. It are the best companies that are willing to experiment because they want to overcome what is actually the biggest challenge and barrier to innovation, and that is the fear of failure and change. They secure a climate and a culture of risk-taking Quite a challenge after two decades of cost-cutting and a deep focus on efficiency at most of our organizations. So yes, I believe it's a prerequisite of today's digital age to organize and structure ourselves for ongoing marketing experimentation. And that means doing things such as constantly communicating its importance, forging new kinds of relationships and partnerships, um, promoting idea exchanges between diverse minds throughout your organizations, measuring and documenting results, insights, best practices and failures, and most importantly, allowing for its costs. An R&D budget allocation, as it were. Because yes, the quest for innovation today comes with higher production and creative costs. For example, as a survey by recruiter Talent Zoe just um, showed, the salaries of digital talent in the US last year rose by 60%. So talking about talent, I'll soon be handing over to four digital experts who know all about experiment. The <laughs> more they are passionate about it, they're committed to it, and most importantly, as you can see, they are responsible for driving it inside their organization. Yes, these Zwinkies, or social virtual avatars, to introduce one of those unproven new media, I hope you'll soon have fun experimenting with, as you can see, I certainly did. Well, they don't do our presenters any justice.